Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you how to ingest data into a large language model. So when you ask any question in regards to your data, a large language model can respond to you accurately. That's exactly what we're going to see. Let's get started. To do this, we are using Llama Index. Using Llama Index, you should be able to ingest data, index data, and also query data. The Llama Index can handle unstructured data, structured data, and also semi-structured data. I'm going to take you through step-by-step -step guide on how to set this up and run this. First, create a virtual environment, conda create hyphen n llama index python 3.11. Click enter. Then activate the virtual environment, conda activate llama index, enter. Now install llama index package using pip install llama index, enter. This will install the package required. In our application, these are the steps which we are going to follow. First, we are going to convert the data to embeddings and then index the data and save it, then query the data. So create a file called app.py and then from Llama index, import simple directory reader. Using simple directory reader, we should be able to retrieve data from a directory. So if you see the folder structure, I have created another folder called data. Inside the data, I have got another file called data.txt. That's where all your data will be. You can create as many .txt files in this folder and this application should be able to handle all those. So if you go inside the data folder, I have document about Llama index. Going back to our code, we are going to read from the directory. So simple directory reader and the name of the folder is data. Then load the data. Next, create an index. For that, we need to import vector store index vector store index dot from documents and then you mention the documents the third step is we are going to save the index storage context dot persist so as we seen in the image first step is to get the data from the folder then vector store index then you are saving that index the fourth step is querying that index next query engine equals index dot as query engine Next response equals query engine dot query and then what is llama index and print response. Now we're going to run this program. In your terminal, export the OpenAI API key which you can generate from OpenAI website. Then click enter. Then type python app.py. Llama index is a data framework for LLM applications. You can see clearly that it's retrieving from the vector store. This is a line which saves that storage. If you see our folder, there will be a folder called storage. Inside the storage, we'll have different files. These are the embeddings which we just created using this function. Next, we want to load these embeddings and query with that. If we run this program each time, it will automatically create embeddings every single time you run the program. So it's best to load the embeddings again from the saved index. That's exactly what we're going to do now. I'm going to create another file called retrieve.py. In this, we're going to rebuild the storage context load the index and query from the index. So from llama index, import storage context and then load index from storage. Storage context equals storage context dot from defaults. Then you're going to mention in which directory the storage is. Storage directory equals dot slash storage. That will rebuild the storage context. Now we are going to load the index load index from storage and then pass the storage context next again as we did we are going to query by initializing the query engine next response equals query engine dot query what is llama index print response that's it first rebuild the storage context load the index and then you can query we are going to run this code now in your terminal python retrieve dot pi and click enter Llama index is a data framework for LLM application. Yeah, this is loaded from the saved embeddings. That's it. You can load as much as data you want and then query that using the large language model. I hope you like this video. Please do like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.